we've heard here all the time about play callers getting in a rhythm. How often would you say have you experienced that you that this year? And what can you describe the feeling when you get into a rhythm? It's it's just been the same message all year, just week to week. Try to you know learn from different lessons as you go throughout. Try not to make the same mistake twice and. And a lot of that in game, you're seeing how the game's going and, you know, how you prepare going in the week. And then obviously there's, you're always going to have to adapt. And that's every NFL game. And then it'll be the same thing Saturday night. And that's the challenge that, that I love about this job. It, it, makes it, it makes it fun. You curious to see, I mean, the, they have the reputation for taking away something from every offense they face. You kind of curious to see what they're going to try and take away from you? That's a, yeah, it's always a chess match. And that's it's most you know, NFL games it usually is and but these guys have been the standard for the last 20 years around the NFL so you go in there Saturday night and understand that you know it's going to be a sparring match and we we got to make sure that we we're prepared at every play as they try to take away premier guys that they, they want to be beat by or want to challenge you to beat them with guys like Berkser and Tajay and Pruitt and Raymond those guys have made plays for you pretty sure. regularly this year you feel like you're in good position for that we, we just felt like, you know, week to week, and we've tried to create the atmosphere here that no matter who's in there, I know that's an old coaching cliche, but, they're, you know, our numbers back it up. We've spread the ball around and got a lot of confidence in whoever lines up out there, and we'll be ready to roll. And we'll have to, if they show us something different, we'll adapt, and that's what you have to do week to week. So, uh, what's Corey Davis do so well uh, as a blocker, and did he start that well, you know, coming out of college, or has this been – you know, proven by leaps and bounds over the, over the years. Like a lot, like a lot of players, and that's the thing that it, it's you know proud to get to coach these guys because they they buy in. They all you know AJ does it, Tajay, Khalif, Adam, all those guys have tried to, and, and like those, he, Corey's done a nice job. He's tried to improve, and and you know week to week, and he hasn't gotten down, and and it's it's been fun so to coach those guys. What are some of the successful ways, whether it be yourself or even seeing the other coaches, Coach Dues, Coach Ray, will be able to inspire and bring the best out of Derek Henry? I think there's a lot of factors into it, and um, it's been it's been good. It's just like you, you, the question about Corey. I mean, Derek's the same way. You know, he's as he's gotten every year, he's he's had the right mindset, and work ethic to come out here and, and try to improve, and he's really worked at it. And it's it's nice to see. A guy that's that's worked that hard for him to have some success, and really as a team and as the offense, stay did with you, the line. Did and he notice? stayed focused this year, Arthur, even though he's in a contract year. And he made it clear at the start of camp that he wasn't look, looking at that. Have you seen that uh, focus on the task at hand through the year? Well, I mean that's that's his personal situation, and, and the way I looked, always looked at it from coaches and players, I, you kind of treat almost every day at every year is a contract year for you. You, know, it's a, you never want to get comfortable in any situation or any job in this business. But I can't speak for how Derek felt about that. I just, the way he worked out here as a, as a teammate, it's been, uh, it's been fun to see. Did he look more like himself, you think, in the game on Sunday? And, and do you take some pride in having the NFL's leading rusher? Well, I think it's a credit to the players. Those guys, uh, they did a nice job all year and, and stuck with it. And uh, it was ha it was good to see Derek do that, and it was really happy for the for the offense and the offensive line. And, and as part of that, the, the tight ends deserve some credit, and so the receivers. So we we preach all eleven. They've run away from people as much as they've run over them. But you think in Henry, AJ, and Johnu, you've got a trio that's maybe as tough to tackle, or or guys are as unexcited to see to have to tackle over the course of a game is around is his around those guys have done a nice job and and, and you got a factor in Corey too Corey breaks breaks tackles as well and those guys have done a nice job and, and getting open and they all block for each other I mean you go back to AJ's touchdown on that first third down it was a hell of a block on the back end but that that's the, that's what you want to see like that excites me more than just the play AJ made because those guys are committed to it the easy thing to do is to, to act like I almost had him and you, you see plenty of that around but uh, it's a credit to all those guys Combo of size and speed there, you got to... Sure, yeah, they're, they're the, those guys, it, it's been proven this year, they, they can create yards after contact. You factor into your game plan at all, Arthur, the, the wear and tear that Derek has on on defenses as a game goes along? Well, it's, as a game, it just, and that's to me, is the, the running the football, especially late in the year. You hope that it has that effect, and you hope that you're not playing... It, you know, certain situations you want to be able to still dictate what you want to do, not become obvious. And it is a, it is nice to see as you as a run game, you stay committed to it, and it just chips away at it. And, and Derek's done a nice job with that, and so is the line. Would you get any more for for a big guy like him than it might be for a smaller back? You can certainly see it. I mean, the the, the numbers are there. Like it's you know, he's a he's a big guy, and, and 
like getting in the ball, especially late in the game. When you guys were two and four and you made the switch to Ryan, has the evolution of the offense and his play been about as good as you could have possibly hoped at that moment? Well, I, you know, I, like I said, I never looked at anything as catastrophic or got too high one way or the other because you just kind of looked at it from week to week, and, and there was a lot of factors into it. And I know that was obviously a, a big decision, and, and Ryan's done a nice job, but it, it's a lot of the offense. The line settled in. The receivers, everybody got more comfortable with each other, and, and Ryan did a nice job of leading them. But you just kind of look at it week to week. Even when you win, I, you, you don't want to sit there and pat yourself on the back because you know that this thing is a grind. And it'll, it'll be, as we're working here this Saturday, the same thing. The message is just keep improving. Has like he a, done anything in his play that's maybe, obviously you hadn't coached him before, unlike a lot right. of these guys. Has he done anything in the 10 weeks that maybe surprised you a little bit in his play? I wouldn't say surprised me. I mean, those guys that he's a professional and he's a, Confident guy, and he's been around. He's been around, so it, it's, and he's done a nice job of, of taking what what's been given to him, and 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 his role has increased, and, and he really has done a nice job. But it hasn't surprised me, no. How you like the poise that he's played with, maybe in tough situations, and how you anticipate him maybe going into his his first playoff game? I, you know, it, I, again, it's, it's hypothetical how to get in somebody else's mind. I, I don't know. All I see is what the way he works and the way he approaches it, and we've been consistent from week to week, and, and we'll be continue to be consistent this week.